Hello, and welcome back to Terra Firmacraft. This is episode 31, and a little bit of lag. Sorry, I was just loading the world again. Um, yeah, welcome to uh, welcome back. Uh, been a few days since the last episode. A little, probably a little, a little more than a few days. But um, anyways, we are continuing to make some progress on what's pretty much going to be the last of uh, this series. Uh, at most, it's probably going to go 40 episodes. So, 10 more episodes and that's going to be it. Um, again, just wanted to move on to different things. Which I kind of already have. Uh, I kind of already need to with school up and up and out again. Up and uh, No, not, not up and out. Uh, school up again. Just up. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, it's just one of those times uh, where I'm going to have to start uh, limiting some stuff that I do. Uh, video wise so anyways as you can see the lemons have started growing uh, unfortunately the trees aren't fully grown uh, what I'm going to be doing with these since these have taken a while to do and what I started doing kind of, just kind of as an experiment is uh, skipping time uh, I guess you could say time traveling is what I've been doing ish uh, so we're getting we're getting a really Really good amount of lemons here to start making vinegar. Hopefully we can get plenty from this one too. Oh yes, perfect. Okay. Nice. Beautiful. <laughs> so with this we could start making our first whole barrel of vinegar. Uh, I think I how many days did I skip in total? I think it was only about Oh Fresh water. Worked in creative when I tried it. Why wouldn't it work here? Oh no, because it has to be right. It has to be an alcohol. Okay. So yeah, let's put it in the whiskey. There we go. Alright. Perfect. <laughs> Ahem. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm just finally glad to be able to get... Get some of this done, finally. After so much waiting. Um, so yeah, pretty much what I did, uh, I think what I'm going to be doing, uh, just to cut down on travel time and time in general, probably what I just should have been doing to begin with, but anyways, yeah, what you basically do, actually, let me get the, the charcoal that I just finished piling up here, or the the logs, I should say, get these fired up. Also, the oh, uh, a couple of pit kilns I have ready to go. Almost. I just need to put wood in them. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, also, I don't think I... I'm not sure if I had these up uh, last episode. But anyways, yeah, put a couple of flawed topaz. Flawed topaz, right? Yeah, flawed topaz. Uh, because they pretty much give off as much light as torches do. And they don't have to be relit, relit up again. So, in one of these, I think in this one I have a bunch of ingot cast molds. And in this one, there's a couple of clay rod molds. Uh, one, I think, chisel mold and a mace. Just because I just want to... Don't want to have... Want to make up as much... Make as much progress as possible. Even though, of course, we... We're pretty much well past the stage of needing clay molds to begin with, but so, anyways. Okay, right. Oh shoot! <laughs> totally forgot to pick up my barrel. Uh, so we'll skip time here. Uh, basically, it's just a time set day, and as you can see, it's much different compared to vanilla Minecraft. It, keeping track of time all the. I guess, yeah, I guess there's some sort of time meter attached. Yeah, as you can see, it goes, goes through here. Yeah, yeah when I last used this, uh, the time was the, the 1st of August. So it skips the day after that. Or the next day, I should say. 
Okay. Yeah, so now that we have our... Pretty much all the different kinds of food that we need. Uh, we're in good shape. Also forgot to mention... Uh, I've had the sheep along... Sheep over long enough to be able to... To shear them now, which is perfect. Because now we can start... We can make that tucker bag. There we go. So as you can see, wool in terraformer craft doesn't come in blocks like it does in vanilla Minecraft. Uh, using the spindle, we can make these into wool yarn. First, of course, let's check the... What we started working on. Okay, as you can see, it skips right through. All the time you have to... Oh! Oh, yes! Elderberries! First ever. Awesome. Oh, also, I think raspberries and blackberries down there, too. Okay, sweet. Uh, anyways. <laughs> anyways. Uh, Monty Python reference. Uh, <laughs> so, wow, well, yeah. We'll dry these up so these last a little while. Okay, in the blackberries, always usually hard to tell when they're ready, because they, they always have the, the purple on them. Ouch! <laughs> Alright, I, I didn't miss any there. So, also the raspberries too. Okay. Alright, that's that. We'll dry these up while we're at it. Uh, and then make sure to check that the vinegar finished up. Okay. Yes, it is! Awesome! Okay. So I could use some... could use a few more buckets. Speaking of which, could use some of these... To make some. So there's one. Two, three, four. Okay. And still a whole bunch left. Okay, good. So I guess this will be the first time showing how the anodizing vessel works. But I guess first, before that, the wool that I was mentioning earlier. So yeah, there we go. You just craft it like that, and it's eight wool yarn each piece of wool, so that's good. Gives you plenty. Uh, also finished up making some silk. I've continued farming up string from spiders. Well, not really farming them, but uh, hunting spiders for string. Oh, actually, yeah, you know what? Let's put that back down and try this. Oh, wait, actually. Yes, I guess we'll... Yeah, we'll have this uh, because I think we, we've already got plenty of wool yarn now to make the tucker bag, which I believe calls for a couple of burlap cloth. Where did I have that, actually? Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> Oh, no, there it is. I think it's this and four jute fiber. There it is. Okay, so that's the standard one. And then the reinforced one calls for two leather, iron, an iron buckle, and a knife. Um, yeah, made an iron one here for that. So let's... Get rid of that so we don't have that weird highlighting thing. Uh, get one of the iron buckles. What else was it? Two leather? Where did I get the wool yarn from? Uh, what's, the, what's the name of that command again? I don't remember. Uh, at least, anyways, to pull up recipes that use wool yarn. So, this... 
There we go. Nice. Oh. Oh, it doesn't actually take it along. Okay. Weird. I thought it did. Huh. Okay. So. <laughs> okay, so with that done, randomizing vessel was outside, right? And, of course, got some more cooked limonite. Uh, found a whole bunch of limonite out, uh, out in this direction, out east. In fact, where did I mark it on the map? Find? Oh, yeah, that's another reason why I want uh, cheats on right now. Uh, save time travel-wise. Uh, so, yeah, it's actually it's closer to the... Closer to base camp than that first silver spot is. I found a second one that had a whole bunch of silver. Uh, this part... This one here. There was silver all along the all along the wall of this hill. Which was really nice. It was all poor uh, native silver, but it was a lot. So it was worth it. Okay. There we go. So we should be able to get some nickel from this. Hopefully. Okay, and so with this, oh, you know what? Yeah, there's fresh water in here because oh. okay, right. Okay, there we go. So I just wanted to make sure that it didn't get rid of everything that I had in there. Okay, I think this could use another barrel, quite honestly. Oh, blueberries are ready. And okay. There we go. Alright, so let's put everything back in here that needs to be in here. Okay, there we go. Seal, and it'll start processing. Nice, pretty f quickly too. Okay, there we go. Now the copper rod is attracting all the nickel over to it. The carbon rod is, I guess, repelling. Uh, I guess something to do with magnetism. Uh, so, off camera, what else have I really done? <laughs> I guess the usual grinding. I guess more exploring, of course. Uh, that's how I found those, those spots out there. Um... In hindsight, kind of wishing I saved more of the limonite that I had found bef uh, previously. Uh, there still still might be more, actually. Uh, I haven't been down in that first limonite mine that I kind of made my way through before. But as you can see, the, it only collects a small amount of units uh, per amount. And not always every unit, too. I guess one thing I did find off camera that's important. I found out where a Galena vein was. So it was right down here. Okay, that torch just burnt out. So yeah, there were some down here. I managed to collect pretty much all of it. And kind of start a little mine down here. So... Looking at this in hindsight, I've been pretty fortunate to have a bunch of materials at my expense are so near, so close by to where I set up base camp. And also really glad I moved to this spot too, instead of staying out by the beach, where I think would be a good spot uh, come the finale of the series to end it uh, with all the gear that we have. I guess with the best stuff that we have. And not sure whether or not I'm going to make a blue steel armor piece or tool or not. I don't know. Because that's that's going to require a lot, of, <laughs> a lot more grinding. So. I don't remember quite how much nickel we're going to need for weak steel. Uh, but we're going to need plenty of it. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, actually, let me know in the comments 
uh, where you think I should I should end the series. Um, I would preferably <laughs> preferably like to end the series at some point uh, soon, just because we've been doing it. F oh shoot, uh, for a while. So I figured it's it is time to move on, <laughs> as I've kept saying. So yeah, as much as I haven't really enjoyed the series, you know. Okay, so only 17 units out of the 47 that we put in there. So yeah, it's not quite ideal. Oh, okay, good. There it is. And then I think we scrape it off here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So yeah, nickel clumps are 10. And nickel flakes are 1. One unit each. Okay. Yeah, so speaking of nickel, I need to see if we can find some, some nickel out where I was finding traces of it before. It is nighttime, though. However, can we start making a bed with what we have yet? I don't know if we could use separate types of cloth, but let's see. So I'm pretty sure a bed. Okay, so it uses lumber. Okay. Need to put down this these willow logs. Yeah, so meanwhile the charcoal will finish up. Yep. Okay. Nice. Okay. So let's take this out. Yes, okay. Nice. Awesome. Okay, so we can finally get rid of this thing, and finally use an actual bed that we can sleep through the night in. Wow, that took a while. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, the only thing about sleeping in a in a in a normal bed is that you lose half your hunger, which kind of makes sense, uh, depending on how you are after waking up. Usually, I'd never wake up hungry. But, uh, anyways. Quick time check. Okay. So, I think to end off this episode, we are going to go check. And see how much... Uh, if there's any nickel. A good deal of nickel that we could find at all. <laughs> Okay, so let us teleport to that nickel spot. Okay. Oh! Nope. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I really hope I could find enough nickel here. Or maybe some elsewhere. Oh yeah, that's where all the kimberlite was that we found before. A long time ago. <laughs> Alright, so last time I didn't exactly bring a... bring a prospector's pick with enough uses on it to really m make much progress. So I'm getting a whole bunch of traces, then nothing. Traces need a gold. That's not what I'm looking for. Okay, so maybe if I dig down here, we could find something. Alright, <laughs> ladders. Okay. 27, tw <laughs> 27. 27 should be good enough.
Nothing yet. Uh, medium sample of native... Traces of that. Let's think if we couldn't find any of it. In this, but... If we can, it is what it is. Okay. Alright, everybody get back to the surface there. Yeah, I'm not sure... I might have to do some... Some prospecting off camera to find maybe a better spot for a nickel. But uh, anyways, that is going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed, and I shall see you next time. Wow, that's that's bizarre. <laughs> I shall see you next time in episode 32 of Terraformacraft. <laughs>